Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Cro Quantum Break. And we are going to be starting up Act 4, Part 1, Port Donnelly Bridge. I'm hyped. I think this is the last act. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking this is the final act. And oh boy, am I pumped to do this. I'm actually looking up. But the secret his uh, the secret history of time travel. So I'm assuming this will start out with us getting back to uh Back to the what you call it? What's it called? The, the the swimming pool. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Doctor Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. All right. So, the game has five acts, but it only has four live actions, which disappoints me. I wanted the five live actions if there were five parts. So, we're coming up on the last live action. Oh, I'm disappointed, but I'm so excited because once I finish, I can start a new game and we can get all different uh, live actions. This is good. This is going to be fun. Like, I'm so, I'm so pumped for this. Like, I didn't, I didn't think... This game would, uh, I would like this game as much as I have. I didn't know if I'd like the live actions, but I have. I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. Alright, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. No, so I'm gonna play this whole time to get to the bridge and then have it be a no-go, really? <laughs> Gotta get to higher ground. All right. Um. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Jump on the dumpster, onto the pallets, and onto the roof. There I'm we go. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of monarch. I don't know. Maybe you could sneak across. Well, maybe. Or I could pick you up. Let me know. Pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. I need about... I'm assuming about 20 minutes, and then I'll be there. We still have no visual on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. How can they not find the boat? There's only so much water. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's going to be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright Thanks ideas? Thanks for your patience, folks. We'll have you on your way again soon. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. A giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up.
All right. Uh, okay. I... How are we getting down there? Where's the fire pole? For those of you just tuning in, the manhunt continues as authorities search for... Yeah, manhunt for Jack Joyce. Oh, we've got guys like right out here. Speaking of standing people up, my freshman year, I'm a junior in college now, my freshman year of college, this, uh, I don't go to college anymore, but the college I went to my freshman year, oh shit, thought I'd tell, I thought we'd have story time here in this episode, but there was this, um, there was Damn this, it. like, high school, or not high school, there was, like, this college thing where you would, you'd po- it was, it was, how was it called, it was, it was the stupid secret admirers page, and my friend posted something on it, and he got this response from this girl. Somebody's sneaking around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! Eh, motherfucker. This little shit. Oh, no, but, um, he had a girlfriend, so he, um, he didn't want to go on the date with her. He just wanted to be creepy and post on the site. I guess. I don't know what he was doing. But he set up this, like, this date for me with her, and I totally forgot, and it was, like, the most embarrassing thing ever, because then she became friends with, you know, like, our rooms were, like, interconnected at this college where you'd have, like, You'd have like one bathroom for two rooms, which was which wasn't bad. Uh, like one bath or like one bathroom for four people isn't bad. Um, at the college I'm at now, I don't live on campus anymore, but it was it was two bathrooms for two people. Um, so that was even better. But no, she ended up dating the guy, um, one of the guys that was in the room that was interconnected with mine. And so it was like the most awkward thing because I'd see her all the time. And I don't think she ever told the guy that we had a date because then it would just be real awkward. The guy, it wasn't like I was friends with the room we were interconnected with, but I just saw her all the time. It was weird. It was just creepy. It was weird. And she'd just be, she would just be like, um, you know, she would just like pop her head over into our room to say hi. It was, it was just, it was just, no, it was just a party. And then... Let me kill this guy first. He stop messing around each other. Come here. You s I forgot that doesn't work on those guys. I don't know where I was going with this story. Oh, you did. Because it's not like the most entertaining story, but I thought I would tell it because we're in the middle of fighting these stupid guys that just teleport everywhere. My plan to meet Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you. No. But it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it. Slip right past Monarch. Couldn't I just swim out to the boat? Oh, there was another... I think I I, blow, I blew two dates. Like, I, I should just, get up on I, that bridge and make my way across it before this stutter ends. One I just like forgot, which was that one. That was just that was just my bad. But I didn't even want to like I wasn't even like wanting to go on a date. But that was that was number one, and then the second one, the second one was more recent. And this girl, I asked her out, and we we like made plans, and we were gonna go do something. And then she like didn't come to class forever, and I was like, okay, Soon well I guess. The was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. No, but she like didn't come to class for two. We made it for a while because since I don't, I don't live on campus, and she did. Oh, good. Here we go. All right, let's go, big bitch. Really, you're gonna flip a car at me? Alright, get behind you. Stop moving! Stop no, no, moving! No, no. Why does he- Oh god! 
I need cover. Like, anything. Um, but she didn't come to class forever, and because I don't live on campus, it's a little hard for me to coordinate with people that do live on campus. Because, like, a couple of my friends live on campus, and we, like, never get to do anything. We play Xbox every once in a while, but we don't get to do anything because it's really hard if you don't live on campus to to do, like, stuff with people on campus because their schedules are, like, completely different than yours. And, like, vice versa. And so it just it just was hard. But then she didn't come to class for forever. Well, did I know she just cuts class, like, whenever the hell she wants. But, no, oh, that didn't work. Uh... But I just didn't go to the date, because I was like, alright, well, I guess either, like, something important came up, and, um, I don't know why. I just didn't text her for whatever reason. Don't ask me why. I didn't text and ask her if we were still on. I just didn't go. She just wasn't in class. Oh, God, why is this? Hey, I'm gonna go refill some ammo here. What the hell? There we go. But yeah, that, that's hey. awesome. Okay, good. That's cool. Just gotta make it across this damn bridge and I'll be clear. I don't know what possessed me to tell those two stories, but I did, and they gave me something to talk about in this episode. What if everything just started moving again right now? While I'm wide out in the open on top of this bridge. How is this getting me across the bridge? I feel like I'm not... Oh! I see. Okay, let's move. What the hell is happening? Is this a boat coming through? It is. It's like a freighter. Wow, we're only 12... I feel like I've been talking forever, but we're only like 10 minutes into this episode. Oh, you don't say. This isn't I, a good thing, Jack. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the dead. My bad. I, I, I jumped on that before it, like, shifted away. I didn't think it would do that. Son of a bitch. Alright. Let's do this again. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground, and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. I thought I fucked up that jump. No, 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 no! Fuck! Now what? Um, hold on. Go, 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 go. There we the go. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. <gasps> what? I jumped! I got, like, the biggest baby jump ever. What was that? Come on. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Getting left over one bunny hop at a time. I need the I need the bunny jump, not the whatever the hell that was. Go, go, go. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow I had to find my way across. 
hope for the best. Alright, no <laughs> baby jumps. There we go, thank you. Okay, so, I need to... Where do I need to jump to? Okay, get out of this. I need a, um... Am I jumping to right here? No. What the fuck, dude? I can't tell which where which one I was supposed to jump on. And there wasn't an indicator. I don't get what the... Ugh, this is so annoying. Oh, son of a bitch. That's my... That's my bad. I've, I just fucked that up. I needed to let... You gotta let it go twice there. I got greedy and tried to jump it early. Okay, no, come what? here. There we go. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. <sighs> okay, I'm trying to figure out... Where do I go here? Am I supposed to jump onto the car? <laughs> Oh, I am. Let's just jump on the car, hop off. Huh. Would have never guessed that was how the game wanted me to do that. Um. Oh, shit. So, this thing disappears. But it's like a, just a blip. Damn it, dude, this is... Oh, hold on. There we go. <gasps> Fuck my life, dude! I need to... Ah, oh, I'm so impatient, dude. I just gotta... Oh my god, I needed to be... I just need to be patient. Just needed to be patient there. Through whatever. I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. What the hell? Okay, we're just gonna go for the it. Yolo wasn't exactly user friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Oh, son of a bitch. Timelines getting scrambled, caught in violent loops, off sync, crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. Come on, hold still. And no one would know. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. This platforming is annoying. Can we be done with this? Fracture was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was gonna get worse, unless we could stop it. All right, back at the swimming pool. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I 
Can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay. Like what? Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Yeah, let's do machine first, then, you know, then we'll... 2010 plan, lays out her plans for that. Let's take a peek at the This board. was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. Potential ally? Not even close. Is that, have I not met Martin as Jack yet? Like, does that not happen? Alright, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue. I don't know which way we're supposed to be going. Let's pop this open real quick here. Turn on the radio. Hello, Riverport. Well, it's been a rough night for us. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. At least a dozen people are confirmed dead, and investigators Yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we'll hit it back up with the next episode. We'll go see uh, what Dr. Amaral's doing, and uh, I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.